Right, welcome to the Daily Critic UK. Uh, this is just a a reason, a reasoned and evaluation of uh, the Daily Mail. Um, it's not a paper I read regularly. I, I'm not a regular news reader. Uh, the fake news or the propagation of uh, political and uh, social news in a framework of corporate bias and I, I don't know who who owns the Daily Mail usually the the whole company is modelled on the person who owns the newspaper or the, the, the co-op or corporation that owns a newspaper is edited and uh, filters down in the uh, workforce so I don't know this uh, paper's bias, it's political bias or who, who what the intentions, right or wrong, are the people behind it or just uh, something caught my eye and I decided to buy it and that was this uh, this uh, poor creature, this um, Cindy Crawford's daughter, Kaya Gerber, 17, on the, on the Paris catwalk. So I wanted to give some thoughts on that and I just thought I'll skip through the paper and see what um, I can reason from, read between the lines of what what's truth and what's uh, political hype, what's good opinion, what's biased opinion, whether that's to the left or whether to the right of what is true. Um, with my own weakness and bias coming through, with my own cynicism and uh, my own flesh, so this is just an honest report of, from my own perspective, it, um, However, it's viewed from another's is a, a matter of um, evaluation of the truth. So I'm just presenting uh, some observations in the paper uh, and reading, kind of reading the uh, forces behind the uh, the story and the I've highlighted some things I'd like to cover. So the front page is the anti-Semitism. Uh, which is wrong, any pro any bias is wrong, especially against the Jews, because it, it, is, it is the use of that, um, is Jeremy Corbyn's bias or comments been, has he been influenced to stand up for them politically, or stand up for the truth in uh, speaking ag against um, any, any Hebrew or... Jewish seed that is a criminal, so so one hand's uh, pumping Jeremy to speak out against it, and, and then another hand's rattling the rattling the sword and the saber to say oh you're anti-Semitism, and that brings the Jews into a political game. So what you what I'm suggesting and what I'm stating is you don't really get what what conversations what this man opinions is. Not what the the uh, Jews' opinion is, what the seed of Israel and the nation of Israel, what how they feel about this, and every individual's got their own um, independent view, and this is all framed in to think for you of this this paper's um, news story, whether that's uh, true, whether that's a bias, or whether that's uh, favoured to one colour or another colour, or or what? It's hard to work out the truth in all all all, all these stories. But uh, that that young woman, I thought she looks like a prisoner. She looks um, bedraggled. She doesn't look like she wants to be there. That doesn't look like a pose. That looks like an expression of help me. You know, I'm a prisoner. What what am I doing? And, and there's a full spread of all, all models, and I've I've highlighted some characteristics I'd like to go through. But it's just her weight and her pitiful frame, in that uh, square shoulders and that 1920s like um, oppressive, you know the, the 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 stock market crash sort of suggestion of the 1930s and the 40s and the and all, all that era. You know, it's you know things just go round and round. It's just like a bubblegum blowing machine, um, and and I thought, what a what a poor victim of a celebrity and and the media's image, the world's image, holding up the carrot, starving people. She's a, just an image of starvation, 
of de of, of depravity and, uh, and and she's held up as an image as a woman and it's quite right it's shocking but do these people care that it's shocking or are they just interested in making a story uh, It's a royal family trying to um, do the public um, appearance and, and, and then again you don't really know what's in their hearts. The media is speaking for them and they're, they're allowing themselves to be the face to show willing and do their duty but you never really know what, uh, what, what, what truth is behind the opinions that's being portrayed in, in any given media because they put their own edge on it. Um, I have I've not read these stories, so I can't really comment on in in detail. But it, it does make you wonder that the public, you know, are they coerced into these publicity efforts? And because they're naturally um, friendly people, they they get on very well with people. And I, I imagine people are pleased to see the royal family in their life. It's it's like, but then the media's all over it. It's like Winston Churchill and. When Coventry got bombed, you know they're all out with the with the bunting and the film, and there's always a force behind it, encouraging people to make um, an image of it to rally up the nation to this uh, this uh, shadow war or this um, left right paradigm or this antithesis of of what's against the truth down the middle. There's a story there, you know, of murder. It's all grim and. Our country deserves better. Our country deserves what it what it asks for. That that that's unfortunately that's the truth. There's the more stirring of the anti Semitism and, and there may be some truth in that, that he may be that his um bias may be uh deep down he may be anti uh anti the what what he perceives as going on in Israel because he won't he's not a believer in God he's not a believer in, it's their lawful right it's their lawful homeland and they're persecuted from all through history and then to you use the um, political card as a to feather your own cap you just get you get shot down and you're brought to shame because you 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 attack Israel well, you attack God's people. Well, you know you're you're no more uh, righteous or have the right to throw stones at uh, anybody. And here again, you've got the left side, and then you've got the right extreme. You know, so it's going from one to the other. You know, and and all the all the newspaper does is keep holding it up for you. Look, this is what we support. The contradiction. We we are the sponsors of contradiction. And we shape we shape your thoughts and what you think, and then are are, are the same forces controlling all this um, yeah all this influence in 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 our infrastructure, and then then you you know the truth's been lost, the law's been lost because it, 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 Islam's illegal because it, it what it teaches it by its own law. So it wouldn't. It's not welcoming our law. It doesn't fit. So that's out the window, and these poor people are victims, and they're, and they're, they're 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 the target, and her naivety and and being a victim of that culture and that, and that delusion and that belief system, she she ends up the political target and the the figure. I mean, oh, here's another one I picked up. You the the word there. This is a. Uh, Oh, Jacob Reese Mogg about um, I didn't read the story, but just wanted to sh just catch up. The Euro skeptic MPs. Well, what about um, Euro opposing MPs who are against the unlawfulness of the European Union from the start, and the people who stand up for the law and what's right and what's wrong? No, you're a Euro skeptic or you're a pro Brexit or you know, it's never what flavour do you, what flavour do you want? Do you want strawberry vanilla or chocolate? Well, well I'd like a uh, plain vanilla and uh with a bit of um mint choc chip and some some pistachio please. Oh no you can't have that. You can have Euro skeptic or this or that. It sets the um vocabulary for the reader to shape them into this this image, 
unions to be offered electronic vote sweetener. See, the little tweets like little rap, rat sweeteners working in the background. Oh, my foot stuck in Europe's mouth. And I just can't seem to get it, retrieve it. That was my thoughts with this Euro Brexit drag, this spin, 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 bite the other foot off Britain instead. Lawless. Because that's what it is, it's a lie. Why do they keep spinning this out, kicking it out the road? And then you got these, um, the voice for the, you know, like again, you, you're not getting to hear his, his complete view and his complete insight, nor are you getting to hear Theresa May. You're getting a public image polished. They're acting on behalf of the public. They're swayed by the media. And the media takes advantage of, of the politicians allowing the... That them um, engaging with these corporate powers that speak, give political opinions and messages. It sends out this signal of confusion and this uh, controversy, this dialect, which is sponsored and fermented, because that's exactly what it is. Knife crime now, national emergency. See, they know if they, they know this. You know, this is nothing new. Fruits of the lies, the unlawfulness, the criminals in power. The criminals in the paper, right, that will ask yourself, why hasn't the world been fixed up, fixed yet? Because nobody wants it fixed. So it carries on going, free course. And then you start wondering, you get all these stories, and then the media's just going to feed these stories. And then they look for something um, bright and gay to print, and then they drag up things, like regurgitated drivel part 400th. Four weddings and the reunion. They want that soppy love emotional hype to get the nation in the mood. They want the royal family to do the do their duty and, and they utilise the royal family and, and, and spend them in this um propaganda fermented. And I could, I can't honestly say who's behind it, barring the, the, the omission of doing what's right. Um the Trump takedown is another uh opposed president when he does something right he's attacked when he does something wrong they're all over him and he's attacked again he's a racist a man and you know there's no support for the the truth it's always a political game trumpton camberwick theater shame on them for playing you know playing the game and playing the parts it's, it's uh playing politics with uh the responsibility of, of that office it's just another Hollywood um, image that they're, they're stepping into, and, and you know who controls that. You only have to look at the American presidency when they hand over, um, when there's a new president put in power and they swear an oath and they all go to the Catholic, you know, the leadership dinners, the cardinals and all the high priests and high court judges and all the paedophile uh, propagators. Dig out your Lyca, he's back. You see, they dig up old old things at work to try and put some bubbles in the mix. What was this? Well, I let uh, Stephen Glover, I don't know who Stephen Glover is. Why do I find the idea of the state taking ownership of our organs so sinister? And I've written, because any true lawful minded person would, because it's the truth. So there's a story down the middle, you know, and and he he's he's it's almost like if that was his real comment, why do I find the idea? Why is he questioning himself? Why is he saying well, what's going on here? Why do I find the idea? Is it is it only me? Well, no, you're allowing um, media to speak your opinion by engaging it. It's not only you, but it's only only the media who gets uh, to say what people think. Not, not you, and that's why we're in this state. <clears throat> it's another story caught my eye, Amazon. Just quickly scraping through these stories, getting vexed. Earth to Jeff, what planet are you on? <laughs> and I thought, what did I put? Vain imagining from man. We spoilt the man with all our purchases on Amazon, and now he wants to create this and again you don't really know I don't really know his real intentions it's just what the media portrays from an interview and it's it's been polished and and you're given a story a buzz story 
Earth to planet, what you know, Earth to Jeff, what planet Earth wants. Uh, Amazon Supremo Jeff Be Bezos, re reputedly the world's richest man, has plans to build giant space colonies populated by up to a trillion people. And it makes you ask, well, you know, is that all his soul, his idea? Is that his dream? Is that his vain imagining? Isn't there more prior better priorities in life, like putting some of that money back into problems on Earth? You know, if he's so rich, or, you know, why don't they just arrest him and confiscate his money and, and you know, put it to good use, put it to th these struggling services? Um, meerkats, you know, the, the politics again, the playing the media symbols you know I've, I've just put meerkats mongoose mongoose family oh the meerkats mongoose family they eat snakes that's the only thought i had there super bug fight raising risk of sepsis in elderly nothing new fermented out outbreak omission of the truth for the last 30 years of private citation and eu pressure EU pressuring with a gun to the nation's head. That's what it is. Any time you want to be independent and lawful, you get all this political machination and all this uh, privatisation creeping in. You get a problem and then they come up with a solution behind from the other side of your shoulder. And it's crept in. And these superbugs have been going on because of the, the amount of money that is just greed. And they staff the contract the way that contracts are, 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 are tendered out, and they go to cut money, you see, and then they take on the big super companies, and they have staff problems because they they don't care about people. So you get all these migrants and and people that are like going through jobs like one, one two, three a day, you know, three people a day are leaving, and then they've got this big hole in their a committed contract, the, the, the NHS can't re-employ people, so they they got this patchy system. And then they they jump out of the frying pan when they really need a tender and get the same problem. And then you get all this discipline breaks down because no one's it's all privatised and compartmentalised. It all breaks down, taken advantage of. Then there's money, private money, bunged at it, and you wonder where's this private money come from? Is it the same people destroying it with the other hand? And, and do you know what? I think it is, whether it knows it or not. Nuclear powers on brink of war. Rumours of war again. Fear. You know, it's fear-mongering just to stir the trauma and rhetoric and the apathy and the indifference that people won't vote for Brexit. You know, they won't, they won't, they won't uh, oppose any rubbish. You know, whether that's a referendum. A referendum will be shooting the nation in the head. And that's probably what they're aiming for, because people would be just people are just sick of it, so they're apathetic. They wear people down. They they spring an idea. That, that that that's my reasoning. That's my what that would be my judgment or presumption, or calculation of what where where the can's being kicked. There's only one goal it's being kicked towards. We we don't know what that goal is. Leaders locked in the terrifying game of chicken, again. Boy 12 raped, sister 6 as he copied a web game. <laughs> it's just uh, oozing out. Now, this was uh, my, what got my attention. I noticed the characters and the predominance in their postures, their body language. And I've quickly gone alpha, alpha male, alpha woman, you know, dominant, knows what, you know, completely knows what she's doing. Alpha beta, she's like a slave kind of, slave to doing it, not really double-minded, her heart's in it, but she's, her, her, her other side of her heart's not, that, that girl I'm not sure about. She's completely not there. She is. She's not, she's not. She's in between. She's a beta, she's, she's not there. She's a, you know, a stooge, a wannabe. So these are like wannabes, wannabe, 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 wannabe can be, and has got a lot of help, got a lot of sponsored help, professional, hard, look how hard and cold that face is, just a confidence, not there, 
not there, not there, too too kind, too soft. Just the characters. Now she looks like she's controlled, she's handled. She looks like a traumatised victim. It, whether that's just circumstances, pressure growing up in that lifestyle. But one of one of my observations with these, these two, they're they're prominent out front, front runner, front runner. So, so the 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 corp. I wondered if the corporate powers put the put these up front. You see, and you get all these beta girls charging up the road. You see, because these these are cover members. They born into that sort of sponsorship family, so they get all the good jobs. They get the lead. They all get to be looked up to. You see. Then they get sick of it because they're being used. I think that's, just, I don't know, it looks very like, much like the same gal. Very similar. But I can't tell. And I think that's what it is, it's sponsored. And they all sponsor their main, uh, th their main uh, piece, their main investment, their main talent that they've spotted and they've groomed. And they're naturally talented and it it raises these up whether that's a natural order but i think the natural order of these people are exploited and i reckon these characters definitely this girl is either ephraim or, or israel manasseh there's just that sort of I, I could be really wrong on that but i'm just that, that's just something i'm considering and you notice a certain characteristic about people and the sort of areas that those bloodlines will be utilised and in a negative or a positive um, scenario and circumstance and uh, and it's usually c celebrity MK Ultra because Ephraim is cursed by the blood so that could be blood trauma and of course I'm, I'm sticking wildly and need a wildly in the dark with just a, um, a bit of intuition some reasoning and a piece of knowledge but with, with just that I could be way off uh, this is very evil That's this is demonic a girl five hacked off her hair in Momo online horror game you know where where's the parent sense where's the government sense where's the law sense allowing these people behind this sort of evil you know to, what is friendly about that that that's that's enough to to unsettle an adult so why are children having access to it? Oh dear, oh dear, the gun's on the table. Oh, what should we do about it? Let's just allow it to happen and we, we, we can make money and blow bubbles and sell soap out the newspaper and keep filming it. It's disgusting, it's really... That's why I'm being critical. So, uh, let's see what else there was. I think that was it, I got fed up. I thought I can't read anymore, it's the same old soap. Oh no, there was something. Oh, this guy, optician, veteran, uh, gets a biased treatment when the lady who was serving him, professional, um, said that he qualified for um, service uh, NHS uh, subsidy or treatment. She got out his record and then, and then uh, just said to him, well, uh, what does she say? Uh, however, when he asked the optician to make a note of the service on her referral paperwork, Mr. Lil says she replied for what? Invading countries all over the world and killing people. So there's a quick quip there. So that could be blown out. The, the woman could be having a good day and not really consider what she's saying. And, and the media's run with it because it, it, cause you put it in a bigger light, it's more... It's more serious, but it is a serious comment. It is a biased comment against this, because no one knows the circumstances of where he served or what the law knew, or what the government knew, and you can't allow the paper to shape what what the truth is. You have to go and research that yourself, and you're not necessarily going to be privy to any sensitive information because it's going to be omitted from the public body and, and unfortunately that's just the way it is that's the way the world is it's unjust it's wicked it's and can the law really deal with every single injustice you know and, and our law seems to be leaning too much in favor of mercy i'm in favor of mercy for like the pope and these paedophile priests but not at the expense of justice when they they're unrepentant and then they keep repeat offending because everyone's been too merciful and forgiving. Well, you can forgive and forgive and forgive. If you're unrepentant, what's going to change? You just you're just giving it a free free ticket, a meal ticket. 
and these abuses have been going on for centuries nothing's going to change so it's down to the law and the government and the people who support these powers and all those in bed like Europe European Union all those powers they're, they're all in the all pennies in in the pot and they're, you know they're, they're all invested just as much as our privatized politicians are their little investments and the compromises our own nation's been forced or tricked into making we just don't know the half of it so that's just the the mentality seeping through from that woman the bias she didn't really think of what what she was saying that man felt dejected and britain is kicked in the guts the laws kicked in the guts the the rights of our nation and our law for defending whether we're right or wrong is is another matter but it, it's not it wasn't judged by the the full circumstances it was just a you know something i i could put my foot in it i can be quite um leave you know my tongue can wag and i can not think engage my brain as the saying goes so but it's when the media gets hold of it it's it's a big news story so mossy makes a pal in paris who cares moss um moss off floss off I mean, there's another celebrity who's in a prison of uh, vain grandeur, like sucking the limelight. It's tragic. And then we see the fallout of society trying to chase the carrot of celebrity. And then you see on the front, oh, it's a, it, it's a shame to women. Well, it's always been a shame to women. There's nothing new under the sun. Why this shocking catwalk picture betrays a woman? Well, why do we need to be told? You're not our blooming brains and voice. So I'm going to stop buying this paper ever again, and I never brought it in the first place, so this was just a one-off uh, daily critique of the daily mush, the daily, the, the daily tale of the Daily Mail, Corbyn's hateful new low. Yeah, shame on you lot. Shame on all you lying, unlawful politicians who don't stand up for the truth and don't stand up for what's right and lawful. You kick out the truth of our nation and you sell us out. And our, our nation is uh, kept suppressed and, and, and fed lies and the omission of the truth so nobody can empower themselves to, to make a fair decision because it's all fought for by newspapers. So the truth is you kicked out uh, the King James Bible, you kicked out the law, you kicked out Christ out of our nation, you kicked it out of the schools, whether, whether it should have been state run in the first place is, is another matter. But it, why kick it out completely? It's part of our heritage, part of our law. It's part of the world history. It's one of the most things we've got to be proud about is, is the uh, preservation of the Holy Word of God. So if you're looking for truth, you deny the law, you deny, you, you deny God. Because the rule is straight and it, it, it's not a law unto itself. It's just, just justly measures itself because it's true. And our nation's founded on that. And that's because of Jesus Christ. That's because of the seed of Israel and the heart, mind and will of God into that people, to their, their, their wrong leaders, their wicked leaders and their righteous leaders. And there's a whole contrast throughout their whole history. But they're God's people and he's mindful of them and he will judge the world by the way that they're, they're treated. And he will judge them the way they treat others. But he's more merciful towards them because he... he he knows uh, far more of their circumstances because they're in the minority and they allow the minority to suffer because it's cut off like he was cut off so they will suffer as their Lord suffered and that will only bring them closer to the truth and they're growing that affliction and the world will um, be judged by their hearts and the truth that remains in those people, in their seed and it will come out, the truth will break out and that's what I'm against, these, these prisons and high places and this corruption. You know, whether I'm off the mark, principally I'm right because the truth has been denied and, and these uh, papers are just sponsored propaganda, fake news. And everybody knows it. Um, but I thought I'd just um, clarify a few points and <coughs> read between the lines. So if you, you're looking for, if you just uh, caught this video and you're looking for hope in life, you're looking for truth, I just invite you to um, repent, to have a change of mind and, and, and seek the truth. 
in the living God, in the in the gospel of Jesus Christ, death, burial and, resur death, burial and resurrection, paying for the sins of all mankind, to forgive, to um, exonerate that person forever, for all their sins, past, present and future, and that he died and, and took sin upon himself, being holy and of God, only the only the only um, person begotten of God, holy in a in a body of a man. Lifted up by sin, he he laid his life down. Nobody could take his life away from him because he was so powerful. He had to be to be, allowed himself to be betrayed and handed over and crucified for all sin. And he suffered in the grave. He suffered that into unto death, and uh, digested all sin and left it in hell and come up glorious and victorious over because he's life, and he overcomes sin and death. And whoever so he said whoever believes in him will know him and receive that free gift and that witness, that faithful report. And that faithful report remains true because that's where the truth comes from, that's where the law comes from. And if you deny that, you deny truth and reason and law and your own conscience, your own being. So my invitation is, is to seek the living God in faith and belief in Jesus Christ and you will be saved. That's his word and I, I, I just invite you to challenge his word and not the daily word of this... Uh, this Google propaganda, this uh, bubble blowing soap bubble machine that is just controversial, makes merchandise out of people and propagates this um, this um, swings. It's just round and round the same old stories. You can go back through history and it went through the centuries, through the through the decades. You'll see the same old things being spun out by man and and the media. And they're still making money from it. Nothing changes. Nothing new under the sun. It's just spiraling out of control, and people will just go on as normal, not really realising what's it all about. Then, well, it's about life, and you're dead in sin. And if you don't know life, you, you remain in that sin, and you'll perish. So I'd invite anyone to seriously open their eyes to look for the truth, what's really going on, and why it's going on, because it's the omission of the truth. And then I'll extend uh, that, uh, my testimony that I, I'm a sinner. I don't, I've done some wicked things, and I was brought to that truth by the consequence of my own, by the world and my own suffering and my own sins. And I believed, and I received, and that's all I have to share. So I'm going to share that and uh, close in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.